Hi, let us learn how to change the unit of measurement in PowerPoint from centimeters to inches or from inches to centimeters. Let us first see what is the default option available here in PowerPoint. When I select this, go to shape format, you can see that I have the measurement units as centimeters. Sometimes when you follow tutorials, you would get instructions in inches. Well, you can always go to Google, search for conversion from inches to centimeters or vice versa and make your adjustments. If you are comfortable with a certain unit of measurement, like say inches or centimeters, it makes sense to make the change permanently. So you are able to follow the same unit of measurement in PowerPoint or for that matter in all the programs inside Microsoft suite of products. To change this measurement from centimeters to inches, the first thing you need to do is to go to the start and type control panel. You double click so you are able to access the control panel. Here in this dialog box you go to this option here called clock and region and in region go for this option called change date time or number formats and then in this dialog box go to additional settings and here you see the various default units used in your computer. Here in measurement system, we have metric chosen. If you want it in inches, you need to choose US. When you choose US, you say apply and say OK and then say OK again. Close this. You can see that the change has been made in inches. Now if I want to change this back to centimeters, once again it is the same procedure. Go to control panel, open it, go to clock and region, change date, time or number formats, then go to additional settings and then change the measurement system from US to metric, say apply, say OK, say OK again, close this and immediately the change is made. Sometimes if you are not able to see the change immediately, you can always close the program and then open it once again and you will see the change reflected. Once you make the change in PowerPoint, you can see the same change made across Word and Excel as well. If you like this tutorial and if you want to learn more about the basics of PowerPoint, you can join our complete PowerPoint foundation course. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our 5-day free email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.